Welcome to example program. In this video, we will see how we can write a C program to find the factorial of a number entered by the user. The factorial of a positive integer, let's say n, is denoted by this symbol and it is called as n factorial, is the product of all positive integers less than or equal to n. So n factorial is equal to n multiplied by n minus 1 multiplied by n minus 2 up to uh, 3, 2, 1. So now uh, let's say we have the number 4, then 4 factorial equal to 4 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1. So which is equal to 24. Now for some technical reasons, 0 factorial is equal to 1 and for the negative numbers, the factorial doesn't exist. So here, in this program, we will see how we can write a C program to find the factorial of a number. Uh, I have already written some code. I have included the stdio.h header file so that we can use the functions like printf and scanf. And then uh, I have written the main function, which is the entry point of our program from our perspective. So now the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to declare the variables that we are going to use in this program. Now, when we talk about the factorial of a number, the numbers will become larger very quickly. In C programming, for every data type, there is a maximum range of values which we can store. So depending on the data type that you're going to choose, uh, you may have to look at the number that you are entering to find the factorial because you can enter a number, let's say 100. And if you use integer type for storing the factorial that is calculated then it can't hold that number there are some ways to write the programs to find the factorial of the larger numbers but here in this video i'm focusing on teaching the beginners about how we can write the program to find the factorial so uh, we will use a simple data type i'm going to take integer type and the first variable that we need is for storing the number entered by the user and the next variable that we need is for storing the factorial value that we have calculated. So I'm going to call it as factorial and I'm going to initialize that with a value of one. Now the next thing that we do is we will ask the user to enter the number. So I'm going to use the printf function in here and I'm going to say enter the number and we will use the scanf function to read the number entered by the user and we will store that in the number variable. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to check whether the user has entered a negative number, whether the user has entered 0 or whether the user has entered 1. Because for negative numbers factorial doesn't exist, for 0 and 1 the factorial value is equal to 1 so we can directly display that. So we will check whether the number variable is containing a value less than 0 which is the negative numbers. In that case, we will use the printf function and we will say can't find the factorial for negative number. And then we have else if and this time we will have the condition. We will check whether number is containing a value less than or equal to 1. So you know if this first condition fails then only it will come to else if part if it comes to else if part then it means that number is not a negative number so here this condition will check whether the number is 0 or 1 so in that case we will use the printf function and we will say percentage d and then we will use this uh, factorial symbol and we will write equal to percentage d can directly specify one in here so first we will have a number in here and then we will display one now if the user has entered a number greater than one then we will find the factorial so we will have this else part in here okay so what we have to do is we have to take the number and we have to multiply that with the previous numbers so we will use a for loop and here, what we're going to do is we're going to use a, a loop counter variable. So let me declare that variable in here and I'm going to say counter. Okay. You know, we can write this program in, in many ways, but 
I'm just trying to make it simple. So in the initialization part, we will initialize the counter variable with the value of the number variable. And the condition here will be how long we want to run this for loop. We want to run this for loop until this counter variable contains a value which is greater than or equal to two. And after that, with each iteration, we will decrement the value of the counter variable. So here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna write factorial equal to factorial multiplied by counter. For the first iteration, if the user is gonna enter, let's say four, then the counter variable will contain four. And uh, we have initialized the factorial with a value of one. So it will be equal to one multiplied by four. So the factorial variable will contain four. Then for the next iteration, the counter variables value will be decremented by one. So it will contain three. And this time the factorial is containing four and this counter variable is containing three. So it will be four multiplied by three, which is equal to 12, which will be stored in the factorial. Then again, uh, after decrementation, counter will contain two and uh, here again we multiply that so 12 multiplied by 2 is equal to 24 and we will display that here i have uh, written the condition as counter greater than or equal to 2 you know we can make it less greater than or equal to 1 but you know there's no point of multiplying from 1. so now when we come out of this for loop we have the factorial of the number so we will print that out to the screen and uh, i'm just gonna copy this and i'm gonna paste it in here and we will display factorial here also instead of this if we want we can use the factorial because we have initialized that one to a value of one in the beginning here okay now i have written the program let's run this enter the number i'm going to enter four it will display four factorial equal to 24 i will run it this time i'm going to enter zero it says zero factorial is equal to one and uh, let's run it one more time this time I'm going to enter like negative six. It says can't find the factorial for negative number. So here, since we are using this integer type of data here, we can't enter the large number. So this is it guys for this video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, then hit the like button. If you don't like it, then hit the dislike button. If you want to say something, then write that in the comment box. And that's it. See you later in the next video.